Yo, welcome uh, to the fifth video. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I fixed it in post more or less, but I, I I got my numbers mixed up somehow, and now I'm now I'm actually on the fifth video. Um, this might look familiar. I'm, I'm back at the beginning of the game. Um, not because I didn't save, to, so don't panic. It's just I discovered something really weird. Uh, I, I was just like, because uh, I want to have some fun on my own. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll start recording in a bit. I'm going to just play around a bit, see what I can find. Um, so I ended up just starting a new game. I was going to wait until I get to town before I start, you know, looking around. But I discovered something weird. Uh, I'm going to skip to it real fast because I got to kind of go through the tutorial first. But uh, I'll see you in a second. <sighs> All right. Um, I'm back. So this is what I... When I first played through this area, you saw that I was kind of jumping around looking for whatever, seeing if I could find a glitch. And uh, I ended up I ended up finding something. It's kind of crazy. So uh, I went around the back here, found this weird looking rock. Climb this rock, you're still, you can't jump that high. The game won't let you. But if you climb this rock, just the right angle, you kind of have to really be careful. You can leap right over it. I am now locked in an isolated room. Uh, I think the devs knew people would get back here, but still, you can see into the building too. But that's not the weird part. Here's the weird part. So if I were to jump over here, this tree has a weird hitbox. So you can jump on it, jump to the side. Honestly, you don't have to do that. You can just climb here, but it's still an interesting thought. And now Spike is mysteriously over there. It still gets weirder. Now, the story animation doesn't continue. He, he doesn't open the door. He doesn't even try it. He, he just gets locked in. And it only activates if you run through the door over there. And it's a small little glitch, but I thought it was really cool. I, I don't know what will happen if I go inside now. Like, will the story continue even though he's broken? Or did I miss a trigger that needs to be hit? I think I does. I think it doesn't matter. No, no, yeah, see, I can't do anything. I think uh, the game doesn't appreciate this, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's I'm just missing out on a key thing. Oh, no, no, the cutscene works just fine. All right, yeah, I just wanted to show that uh, really simple visual glitch. Um, I haven't I haven't really discovered anything else yet, but. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll probably play around with just breaking the game for like an hour, uh, show you the highlights, and then uh, we'll get into the actual scheduled program. All right, see ya. See you in a little bit. All right, welcome back. Hey, uh, <laughs> discovered something else pretty interesting. Uh, though I can't say it is anything game-breaking, it's unique, to say the least. Alright, so these trees, I, I was experimenting with hitboxes trying to climb over this wall without uh, activating the story. And ended up discovering something really weird. So, like, typically if you just try to jump at the tree, nothing really happens. But if you push up against an opening, like this little gap here, and the jump, it accelerates you right up to the top of it. And if you do that with this one, it's a little tricky. You can accelerate to the top of the wall. Though for, I haven't, I've only tried it twice now, so I haven't tried jumping the wall yet. But the fact that you can just slide up the tree like that is so broken. And I'm, I'm not jumping in at all, right? I'm literally just pushing the analog stick around, and he's climbing on his own. Oh, damn, I'm not high enough. Even if I am, I'm pretty sure there's an invisible wall there. Oh my fucking god. There is an invisible wall here, but I've... <laughs> I can't believe I made it this high. Come on. Oh man, they put this wall so high. Damn. Well... As you can see, there's definitely potential. The only thing is, I'm, I'm afraid that the wall around it is actually a box. So they have an entire invisible box over the area, making it to where you can't actually leave. Which is kind of sad. 
<laughs> but again, a lot of potential here. And of course you can do this for some reason. Just, you can grab onto the door. You can't go over it. Or anything like that, but you can just grab onto it. Which is, uh, again, pretty fucking interesting. Time back, time to get back to climbing trees. I just, I don't understand what happened. How'd the game designers make this happen? And why do people, why does he climb trees like this? Like, and if it doesn't have an opening, like, he, he kind of climbs up the curved side of it. So, he'll follow that path, but if you try to do it on the non-curved side, he just gravitates towards the curve. So it's a lot trickier than it looks. So you can only do it on certain trees. Alright, well, I just want to share, share that with you. Uh, I'll, I'll fill you in if I find anything else. Alright. Hey! Welcome to my tutorial on how to get to the roof of this building, which I'm pretty sure the game doesn't want you to ever get on, but I'm doing it anyways. So you come to this tree, this tree right here, this little slanted tree next to the garage. So you just walk at it, don't even have to jump, just very slowly walk at it until you stop at the top. You can jump over to the roof, now you get over here, jump over here, and now if you look carefully at this branch, come on. There he goes, he can climb it. And now, with that, you can jump up here, hear the grunt, and boom, you're up on the roof. Isn't that amazing? This game is awesome. Oh, it's not the highest point yet. You can just walk up this tree and get up on the fire. Uh, I don't know what this is actually called. Chimney, thank you. There we go, look at that. Not the highest point, but <laughs> I will be attempting this next. Not sure how I'm going to do it, but I'll figure it out. But yeah, check that out. Real easy way to get up on the house. By the way, there's an invisible wall, like, super tall over this fence. I, I couldn't get over it. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's see what I discover next. Well, we have some bad news. I made it up here to the red area. Any, anyone can climb up here. It's real simple. Um, but where it gets complicated is climbing these white things, which I can do. I found out I can totally do. Minus that failure. Um, but the real issue is the moment you cl start climbing the white pole, you, uh, you're outside the quest area. The game doesn't let you continue. Damn, I, and I can't pr Oh, fuck. I can't prove it to you because now I'm fumbling it. But basically the point of if you jump into this little crevice here, look up at where you're targeting, and then very carefully just jump and push in the direction you wish to go, you will slowly climb these poles. It's not the most consistent thing, but you can do it. Ah, oh, damn it. Doing a really bad a job of explaining this. The top of this antenna. I want to climb to the top of this antenna. Don't mock me, game. Yeah, see, anyone can come, climb up here. It's pretty easy. It's getting up the next one that's the hard bit. Alright, let's, let's see here. One second. There we go. Alright. No! Oh. Almost had that, but I got distracted. But yeah, that, so that's the general idea. You jump in here, and you climb. And look at that, leaving mission area. Can you believe it? They they, they couldn't just let me have that, really? <sighs> well, that's a crying shame. I thought that, you know, the game would reward dedication. But it looks like... I was too simple-minded. All right, well, catch you in a minute. I know what you're thinking to yourself. You look at this big, tall building, you're like, wow, if this was Assassin's Creed, I'd be able to get to the top of that. Well, have no fear. I think I've discovered a way for you to feel like Ezio once again. And it's this, the secret is this tree 
right here, this beautiful, magnificent tree. You just very carefully walk the jump. Oh, walk, walk. You just keep following the curve of the tree. Oh, fuck. It takes a few tries, but have no fear. Once you get the feel of it, it's not too difficult. Just up, 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 up. And then jump. And there's a ledge you can grab. You run around here. Position yourself between the wall and the building so it doesn't push you back. Don't jump sideways, apparently. Come on. Come on. There we go. Hey, I got 24 parkour points for that. And then you climb up here. And ta-da, you're on top of the building. You can't climb any higher, sadly, because that is leaving mission area. I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, it, do it doesn't like that. But hey, isn't that sick? You can actually climb on top of this building. That's a just amazing to me. This game is beautiful. All right. See you in the no. See you in the next one. All right. Hey. So uh, yeah. Just spent the last about hour and a half glitch hunting, just seeing if I could find a unique ways to break the game. Uh, only got like. 15 minutes that actually end up showing anything unique or interesting. Uh, now I'm back into the main game. I will say uh, this episode is going to be a bit of a slower one. I have a bit of a chest cold right now, so I don't want to do a whole lot of talking. So I'm going to be focusing this, this entire episode on just going around collecting uh, inhibitors. So if you don't want to see me just running around quietly collecting shit, feel free to just skip this episode there won't be any story stuff in this one so you don't have to miss up you don't have to worry about missing out on anything and in the next at the beginning of the next episode i will uh put up how many inhibitors i found and just overall how well i did for anyone who doesn't want to watch this because i understand not everyone wants to just you know sit, in, sit down for an hour watching someone else just scavenge randomly uh, so yeah, it, it, all good. And for those who are interested in me collecting inhibitors, I hope you don't mind me being really bad at it. Because <laughs> I will be. But yeah, who knew that trees were so janky in dying light? But yeah, so... Oh, just, the fact that you can just zoom up trees. I want to see if it still works. Yep. It works in main outside of the tutorial. Like, it's not even a useful glitch. It's only useful in the tutorial where you're, like, super restricted. Back off, kid. Oh yeah, I'm not going to do story oh, missions or side missions. Just going to look around, explore the city, find inhibitors. The qualities. So, yeah, this game reacts to slopes in a really weird way. So every time I see one, I just want to, like, try to see what happens with it. Nothing. That's what happens with it. Is someone attacking me? Oh, it's you. Alright, let's run around and look for some inhibitors. Ah, found one. Already. Good shit. And I'm gaining on it quickly. Is it in here? It's three meters away from me. So I feel like it's in here. Oh, yep, it's right in here. Oh, that's not good. Probably hidden around here somewhere. Oh, my throat is so parched. No matter how much I drink. Yeah, the temperature dropped so suddenly. And my uh, heat didn't really keep up with it. So, last night it was just like a constant fight between hot and cold. So now my throat's all messed up. Save code. 
Um, how do I check it? Oh, backpack. Or hint. Or collectibles. One zero one. <laughs> Seriously. All right. So anyone else who comes to this hideout, you don't even have to activate it. It's one oh one. What a weird combination safe code. Like, that would be a bitch to put in. Hey, inhibitor. Good shit. <laughs> they left me for dead here. Oh, already? Fuck. All right, closing in. Oh, it's in this building, isn't it? That's a lot of alarms. What's happening? Why did my stamina just disappear? Like, what the fuck? I wasn't even doing anything. I just dropped yeah why are the alarms going off what the fuck I have enough I have enough I just barely had enough alright I got a new parkour point and I think I was gonna go for this one reduce no no I was gonna go for this one after I get enough stamina. Because that's the most important thing to me. Alright, so the UV light keeps it away. Find the inhibitors inside the GRE dark zone. Come back at night. No, no, no. We've been over this before, game. At least this time, I remember that I can actually stealth kill enemies if I know what I'm doing. Oh, he broke out. I was not expecting that as a possible answer to that. Oh my god, it's volatile. Okay. Um. Fuck. <laughs> I had no idea that there was a volatile in there. Oh, it put me all the way back here. Yeah, this game doesn't. S military med kit. Okay. Oh, it's nighttime. Well, isn't that just perfect? I have to get over there and off the streets. Hey, it's nighttime, so this technically should be safe, right? Well, safe. <laughs> it should be safer. Jump and start at a higher climbing point, then it won't fuck with me no more. Alright, so now, this should go a little bit better. Climb. So there's less in here during the night time. Doesn't mean there's none. So I have to be somewhat careful. Oh! 
door disappeared. See, it's not that there's none, just that there's less. Oh, the, see, the, that's why the uh, my stealth attack didn't work. Okay. Um, it's this button for my tools. This button for some UV shrooms. There we go. Let's switch back over to bandages and look around. Yeah, you can say nearby all you damn well please. That does not help me in the slightest. Oh yeah, what's over here on the table? Distractions? Nope, just a lot of resin. I feel like I'm out of my class for this area. Locked from the inside, huh? Thankfully, I have plenty of UV shrooms, so I'm not too worried about getting uh, running out of time. I'm just really worried about getting caught. Because if I get caught, I die. There's, there's no, oh, I'll get through. No, I die. Damn. Because, yeah, if these guys were all, like, level one, then I could probably uh, turn them into some mincemeat. But, yeah, I wonder if I actually... I think I'm strong enough to kill these guys with the takedown. I don't really want to risk it, though. There's an inhibitor really close by. I like I like this. I like this a lot. The tense feeling where you, the game basically wants you to use stealth, but it is completely optional. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. Boom. One down. Uh, what's next? Time to go. I'll come back when they calm down. Plus, I need to get my immunity back up anyways. Hey, that's one inhibitor down. That's useful. Holding beam, it lets it to where I can slide down. 
locked from the inside. Bet. Yep, locked from the inside. So I have to travel further down myself, but I can unlock doors to make it easier for return trips. I like this a lot. This is really fun to me. I love stealth games in general, so this is scratching every itch. Especially because I also love horror games, even though I'm really bad at them. I do quite enjoy them. That's useful to know. I have to actually go through here to get down a floor. Hey, I killed it. So now it's not walking around anymore. That's useful. My legs keep cramping up. You see nothing, don't worry. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. What do we do? We run. Let's make a shit ton of noise. They really wanted me to spin that skill point, but I know better. I know that that is a trap. I thought I was just going to unlock it with the key, but this works too. How did they not wake up from that? Wait, wasn't... No, no, that's I thought I was already in here. This is a different one. Looks like I'm on a time limit. Okay. Um, inventory. Endurance booster and immunity booster. So I already have it on my thing. Let's go and use it. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it shows me if the takedown's possible. So this one should kill it. Or not. Looks like I misread the intention of the game. Drop! I'm stuck! I can't... He wouldn't let go. Oh my fucking god, dude. Like, he was stuck on the banister of that fucking doorway. The doorframe was eating my hands. He does that a lot. Like, he really doesn't want to let go of things for some reason. Everyone's back. That guy's dead, so it doesn't hurt me none. Alright, so level twos don't die instantly to me.
All right, he's dumbling to the next room. Don't have to worry about him. Wait for him to return. Then when he leaves, I'll lockpick the door. That was not worth. Okay, I don't think he actually discovered me. I think he just almost discovered me though. Nope, he discovered me. Get up! Run! Yeah, sometimes he doesn't like standing either. <laughs> Aiden is full of problems. Alright, let's try this again. I didn't think standing up for just one second was going to give me away. How arrogant I was. Okay. This is this is rough. Some some bullshit right here. He's going. Go. Ah, oh, shit, they change. I think. Hard to tell. Second inhibitor down. And I got another immunity booster. Hey. Alright, so I want to get stamina to 140. Yes. 140, and then I can buy this. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Things are going very well. And I think I just got a new mask that might help. Stamina regeneration up, stamina cost down. Nah, damn. Parkour attacks, health regeneration speed. This gives me XP bonus. Ooh, the sense range goes up with this. I'm going to put that on for now. I like this. I, I love just interesting loot. Uh, parkour XP. Survivor sense duration. I don't got anything else there. Nothing there. Uh, health regeneration. Nah. And last, my shoes. Ah, uh, nah. Wait. Survivor sense duration goes up again. But I'm, I'm fine with it. <coughs> so each of these shrooms buys me like 30 seconds. Oh my god, this is tense. I'm not sure if I'm even going the right way. Fuck it, we're going. I know this door is here. <laughs> um, okay, that's weird. I don't know if anyone else understood what just happened there or the significance of that. 
basically, it said lock from inside. So if I so I press X to try to open it, or to close it, and he he does the animation. I'm seeing if it'll like push me through the wall. What the fuck is happening to me? Oh, whatever. Again, games like these are always super busted, especially when they first start off. And I want to take advantage of that before they get patched. Because I can put up with that. Like, the fucking seizure he just had. I can easily put up with that. That's not a problem for me. If it means I can slide up the side of trees, then anything's worth worth the price. All right, only two more. That's amazing, that, that the door disappears every time. Any openings to climb through? Ah. I don't like their jittery movement. It's so creepy. It's like a human T-Rex over there. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I don't like that. Damn. Thought I saw it turning there. Hey, I got some comfy trainers. That'll make up for the radiation. Um, let's see. What gear did I get? Survivor sense range. Is it better than what I have? Recognition time. No, that's fine. Healing effectiveness, health regeneration speed, none of that's needed. So it's right... It's in there. So you're telling me I have to jump down there and get... Oh, wait, no, these, this is, that's the back door. This is the open door. So I have to go down there and open that door while he is lumbering about. Ooh, oh, there's a exit there, too. Just to get my immunity back up. I got this. I got this. All under control. Right here. Right there. Move. Let me move. Let me move. I don't think he saw me. Yeah, I couldn't close the door for some reason. No, he didn't see me. Oh, that was tense. S Boom. Ch 
the fuck out of here. That went really well, if I do say so myself. Oh yeah, now I can do... I can use stamina for a boost. So I can do more shit. Oh, already a new one. It's this way, huh? That was stupid. No, that's a way. So it's this way. Oh, don't tell me it's in the subway or something. Oh, nighttime's about to end. Didn't even let him stand up. Yes, come one, come all. Oh yeah, I can charge attack now. Let's go. All right, I can now level up my skills again. <coughs> Stam is just really important to me. Oh. oh, ho ho ho, what is this? Hmm. That's pretty useful because it basically, uh, it, it'll make it to where fall damage is basically negated as long as there's an edge nearby. But I'm, I'm gonna. Oh, I don't actually have a parkour point. I thought I did for some reason. I think I'm going to get hide and fall next, whatever the hell that was called. Because I do take a lot of fall damage. Got it, got it. Up we go. Let's start running around for more inhibitors. I've been here and there. You know, the best part is always having me in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything. I'm oh, yeah. No stamina. On the roof, near the main metro station. Okay, so that's now time to continue the story. Of course, I'll do nothing of the sort. Uh, let's go find out what this area is then. Since I don't really have anything else to do. Parkour challenge. Quick thinking. Stay on the rooftops. Be smart. All checkpoints appear once. Any mistake is fatal. Get a lot of points for it. Oh, and one second. Let's switch my gear back to the parkour set. Parkour XP. Parkour XP plus... No, oh, this is much higher. Yeah. 
Yep, parkour XP. Parkour XP. All right, I think that's the uh, the lot of them. Can I see my stats separately, or is it just like vague? <laughs> I think it's just gonna stay vague. So now I should get more. Oh, I get a lot more. I like how that it shows you how much you can get. Twenty seconds is gonna be rough though. Oh, I've already wasted way too much time climbing. Can I restart? Is there an option for that? Nope. Seriously? I thought it said res you'll reset if you hit the floor. <laughs> I'm pathetic. I'm really bad. I can't even get back on the roof now. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's try that again. Oh, okay, cool. I thought I had to walk back up there. So do checkpoints stay where they're supposed to be? Okay. I forgot to press the sprint! <laughs> I forgot to press the sprint button. I got 10 seconds to experiment. So, sprint key here, and then jump. See, I can make that jump. I just have to actually sprint. Alright, try it again. I'm aiming for minimum silver, but I think I can get gold. Oh, dude, get the fuck out of my way! Oh, come on! Okay, so you can always just go for the higher points. Again, I could have easily shaved off a lot of time with just that guy not being in the way and timing my shit better. No! I hate the fact that you can't just restart. You have to sit the 30 seconds out. Oh no, there it is. I didn't even see that. All right, one more attempt and then I'm gonna go look for more shit. All right, jump here. Get a little further down, sprint, leap. He didn't sprint. <laughs> Like, I click the sprint button. He doesn't sprint. Fuck me, dude. I'm getting unreasonably mad at this. Mainly because my room is, like, sweltering. Even though I turned off the heat and it's ice cold outside, for some reason, my room is still very much hot. I think I did worse this time. I actually did worse. Oh well. Again, that's something I'll continue another time, I guess. Yeah. Fuckers. Um, where was I? I was going that way. Cause like you can again with this sprint burst, you can go far. Like you see that shit. I'm just using it super improperly for some reason. Like, fucking far. What's happening over here? I'm already behind you. 
You don't look so fast to me. Yeah, I turned my flashlight on in to intimidate him. Ow. God, that sprint uses up all of my stamina. All right, let's see, how many people are here? Quite a few. Any explosive barrels lying around? Don't see any. I could probably fight them all and win. But again, not the point right now. <coughs> I haven't seen any uh, alerts in a hot minute. Yeah, normally the map tells me if there's inhibitors and I haven't popped by any apparently. Oh, look at that requirement of 300 stamina. This requires 160, let's go there. And hopefully on the way we discover some shit. Yeah, I know better than to help them now. They, ju they just attack me next. Oh, by the looks of them, I'm about to actually have to end this episode. If I did my math correctly, and we all know I'm terrible at math. That means I have about four-ish minutes till we hit the hour mark. Ooh, you can scavenge inhibitors at night here. Nice. I know better now. To actually listen <laughs> to uh, fight and doubt what's going on there. <laughs> Sorry, their trash talk just fucked me up. <clears throat> Fuck you, you're fucked. Suck it. Like, oh my god. They have no manners. <clears throat> Put me straight into a coffin fit, that was so fucking stupid. <coughs> Am I hearing gunshots? Don't even know if there's guns in this game. There probably will be later on, but I don't know if there's any early guns in this game. <laughs> Coming through, guys. Hey, we found a safe zone. And I guess here's a great spot to end this uh, episode. So, uh, thanks for watching me very poorly collect inhibitors for a short while. And uh, I hope you enjoyed some of those glitches, even though they're super useful yet. They're pretty funny to look at. Um, so, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the, in the next one. Bye.